organic foods. So I here's do the too. thing is, but here's, it's important <laughs> to know what you're paying for because cost is clearly um, an issue for uh, whether you eat organic or not. And so, and a lot of times because it's organic, it doesn't have the waxes and preservatives. And so you're definitely going to have the food potentially spoil faster. Uh -huh. So again, that goes into oh. the factor of cost, but it's important to note. So the U.S. Department of Agriculture has allowed for this standardization of uh, or organic labeling. And so if it says certified organic, it has to be greater than 95% organic ingredient to qualify for that label. And then if you have something that's greater than 70% organic ingredients, that will be labeled with made with organic ingredients instead of the certified organic. And then if it's 100% organic, it has to be 100% organic based on the actual qualifications for organic. Okay. Um, and so, but the important thing to know is, is that why organic versus conventional or what's the difference? Well, organic foods aren't different in nutrient content as far as what we know with studies. There's no actual studies that will say like organic has more nutrients than this one. We just don't have enough to say that. But what we do know when you're purchasing organic is that they're not going to have pesticides, which are can be act like xenoestrogens, which is artificial hormonal activity in the body. Pesticides can be. Um, and also when you're getting organic, you know that they're not going to have the preservatives, food coloring additives, which a lot of times in a small population of people can worsen like hyperactivity in kids. You can uh -huh. also have uh, more like more skin developed allergy in issues, uh -huh. you know, like eczema or asthma may be triggered, but low, low percentage oh. of those people. So it's really trying to figure out why you're paying for the organic and it, whether it's worthwhile for you, yourself and your family, yeah. um, based on your medical history or based on what you think is important for your health and that of your family. Okay, great. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having me. I feel so empowered. <laughs> I can go out there now and choose the right stuff. All right, guys, so for more information, you can go to our website and um, get more of Dr. Julie's expertise. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next week. Yeah? Excited to come back. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, and we'll be right back. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you.